Crash Bandicoot 1 was the first video game I ever played, and I was immediately enthralled by its rich and vibrant landscapes. Dense jungles, mysterious temples, foggy peaks and treacherous climbs. To the eight-year-old me, they all promised limitless adventures. But because I was constrained by a fixed camera, those worlds were forever out of reach. But what if you could change that? What if you found a way to break the camera, explore the scenery, and see Crash's world from a whole new perspective? Recently I performed some game shark hacking to achieve just that. What we'll find is a mix of game dev magic, creative coding, and tantalizing hints at the Crash we never got. I want to start by hacking the camera at the very start of the game. Zooming out from the beach we can see how Crash levels are really constructed. The levels are dioramas, kind of like a stage set, with elements like this animated wave texture to give the illusion of a larger world. Even the sky is just a rectangle hung in the distance. But as Crash moves, something weird happens. Scenery starts popping in and out of existence, and it's all part of a very clever optimization. Games need to know what objects to draw and what can be skipped, called the occlusion problem. You can make a game engine calculate this on the fly, called culling, and that's faster than drawing everything, but it still uses CPU. Instead, Crash Bandicoot has pre-calculated lists of geometry baked into the level itself. So if you've ever wondered how deep Crash's bottomless pits are, the answer is they're only as deep as the camera needs them to be. Some optimizations are very creative. To reduce the number of polygons in this scene, Naughty Dog added an innocent looking plant which essentially deletes any of the geometry in its shadow. To get the optimizations this tight, every night levels would be put through a huge server farm to find every possible deletion and ensure there were never more than 800 polygons on screen at any time. Other optimizations were much simpler. Take the water in the river levels, or the heat around these torches. You could do this effect with a complex pixel buffer warp, requiring VRAM writebacks and CPU manipulation. Or, with a fixed camera, you could just make the objects wobble with simple vertex animation. Actually, nearly everything in Crash is 3D, and I do mean everything. The checkpoint animation is 3D, the title screen animation is 3D, in fact, even the options screen is 3D. The lighting and animation here is 100% real time. You can even pan and zoom the Naughty Dog logo, though you do have to be quick. One question I did have was whether the world map crash model was some kind of miniature. Zoom in and see it's actually the real thing. And the map is really detailed. Check out the Cortex Power logo with a letter hanging off. Other things don't look so great from a new perspective. Some of the facial expressions in particular still keep me up at night. But we're rather limited in what we can see. A better tool is a level editor, and for this I found Crash Edit. Here's a couple of levels that really stood out for me. Ripper Roo has this section to the left and what looks like a platform under the waterfall. Now if you know about the Crash Bandicoot beaters, you might be aware of a beta level where you have to climb a waterfall. It's possible this is where things joined up. Sunset Vista has an incredibly large unused section. It goes on over multiple chunks and stretches out way into the distance, with the scenery getting progressively more sparse. Was this maybe a cut gem path? Lights Out has a beautiful skybox which normally you can't see because of the level's darkness modifier. There's some cool geometry in the introduction area, including the Evolvo Array and the Cortex Vortex. Not a huge amount of detail, but we can see Cortex mutated a lot of kangaroos and an iguana. Finally, there's level 04, which is the Crystal K from the Crash Beta. It isn't playable, but Crash Edit shows us the scenery is much bigger and more detailed than you ever see in gameplay videos. Ultimately, Crash is a pretty simple game, and I didn't find a huge amount through camera hacking. There's a quote to the effect that Crash 1 had more content cut than actually made it into the final game. Naughty Dog was still very much finding their feet with the PlayStation. For their next game, they would bump up the polygons and the detail much further. But that's for another video. If you're interested in exploring the Crash camera, I put the GameShark codes in the description. 
along with a link to Crash Edit. If you find anything interesting, why not upload your own video and link it back here? Or like and subscribe for more PSX content.